So this question is a diagram question. We have a table that's been provided. The title here of the table says ages of students enrolled in a college class. And then we see that we have a column for age, a column for frequency, which just means the number of students who are this age, right? So there are six 18 year olds in this class of 20 students. And then the information here says the table above shows the distribution of ages of 20 students enrolled in a college class. Which of the following gives the correct order of the mean? Right, so we're looking at the mean, the median, and the mode of the ages. Okay, so the easiest one of these to find is actually going to be the mode. So let's start there. Right, so a mode just represents the number or the value, in this case, the age that is represented the most out of the 20 students, and that would be 18, right? There are 16, or I'm sorry, there's six out of the 20 students are 18 years old. There's no other age that has more than six students. So the mode or the most um, is 18. The next easiest to find is the median. A little bit more work here to do. Um, I have a shortcut on how to do this using the table, but I'll just show kind of the longer way to do it for the purpose of this video. So what we do is we're going to list out all of the ages and their frequencies, right? So I'm going to have actually six 18s drawn out because there's six of those. And then there's five 19 year olds, four, five, and then there are four 20 year olds, right? Because in all honesty, it doesn't take all that long to write this down, 21, and then a 22, and a 23, and a 30. So the median is basically the process of finding the middle number in a list of numbers that are arranged in order, right? Either increasing order or decreasing order. So I've written them in increasing order. So what I can do is I can start crossing these numbers out from the ends, right? The largest number left on the list crosses out with the, the smallest number left on the list. And if I keep doing that, what I'll find is the middle numbers, right? So in this case, there are two middle values. They're both 19. So the median must be 19. The last thing I want to do is find the mean. So to find the mean is basically the same as finding an average. So we find an average by adding up all of our values and dividing by the number of values that we have. So we know we have 20 students, so our denominator will definitely be 20. Otherwise, I'm going to take this same list into my calculator and just add up all those values really quickly. So what I'm going to do here is just say 18. In fact, I'll do it a little bit faster. 18 times 6 because I know I have 6 of those. So that all ended up being a 108. And then 19 times 5 because I have 5 of those. So that all ends up being a total of 95. 20, I have 4 20s, so that is 80. I have two 21s, so that is 42. So let's just add these larger numbers together. So 108 plus 95 plus 80 plus 42 gets me to 325. So those are all gone, but I still need to add these guys together as well. So I'm going to add my 22, add my 23, and add my 30. And what I end up with is 400 as the sum of all the ages. 400 divided by 20 is 20, which means the mean is 20. So now when I go to arrange this in, um, in correct order, it says I'd have the mode as being the smallest value at 18. So that's going to be less than the median, which is the middle value, which is less than the mean, which is the largest value. And that tells me that the answer, the correct answer here, is choice A.